everybody, thank you for joining us for this webcast this evening. Um, my name's Steve, I'm the product trainer here at Blackstar, and tonight, the, the, basically the evening is all about the difference between ID Core, which is our brand new practice amplifier out there in the market now, and our ID range, the original ID range, both digital amplifiers. So, in this corner, we have our um, original digital product, this is the ID15. Um, it's a fantastic bit of kit. Um, really, the groundbreaking thing about this uh, is the TVP section, the true valve power section. We can really get a lot of sound and a lot of volume from this. It's as loud as valve, which is unheard of really for something that isn't a tube amplifier originally. In this corner, we have a new brand new fighter if you like. Um, this is the ID Core range. It's a, it's, it's a little different. We've got stereo speakers in here. Um, so the, the speakers are full range, they sound great for audio, but equally the guitar tones are fantastic also. Um, it gives you a super wide stereo sound. When you're in a small uh, bedroom, maybe practicing or a small studio, it really gives you this immerse surround sound feel, which is an awesome experience as a guitar player. So, it's my job really this evening to explain to you the, the big, big differences. Um, they both have things going for them, and they are both different in ways also. Um, and I'll run through those differences this evening. Um, a lot of people will see these two products in a store, and they'll notice there's not a, f there's not a lot of difference in price really. So they might look at a, a digital ID Core product, which is... Um, you know, uh, just under the £200 price point, and then around the £200 price point uh, in, in Britain, um, they'll see the ID15. So they'll think 15 watts digital, 40 watts digital. Now, it's a little difficult to, to explain this without taking anything away from each product, because they're both amazing products. Um, but the, the real big, big difference is that the ID Core was really built for home use. Um, the only chance you'd have gigging with this is to, you can probably see we've got a couple of mics in front here capturing the sound of both speakers. We also have a feature on the top here which is an emulated line out which gives you um, like a, a tr the true sound of maybe an emulation of a cabinet, for example. Um, if you took a, a 3.5 mil cable from there to a PA system and if you were savvy enough to have a really powerful PA system and use this ID Core, you could probably get away with maybe a small bar or a, a coffee lounge or something if you were playing live. But really, I mean, the speakers will be muted if you do that. So you're kind of losing the, the amplifier as your monitor, if you will. Um, that being said, it, it really is. It's just a, a, a great practice amplifier. Um, and we'll, we'll look at some of the features closely in a second. But the ID series, um, over in this corner, if you like, it's, it's built like a tank. It's really, really solid. Um, it's built for gigging. You know what we're like as musicians, with the amps in the back of the car, in the back of the boot, um, or in the van, and they take a beat in. It's our tools, if you like, like a guitar. Um, but really, this TVP section, which is patent applied for, um, gives you six different valve choices. And it really is a big, big difference. So don't buy with your eyes, buy with your ears. That's the thing that I always tell um, customers that I speak to and guys that come into stores when I'm present for the, for the day. Um, listen to it, try it, crank it loud, because you know the points of sale on the ID series um, say, you know, loud as valve, um, which is a really bold statement to make. And, and trust me, in my travels around the world, I've had to put that to the test. Of course, when they first come out a couple of years back, um, or a little less than that, uh, people were a little bit apprehensive um, to believe. Um, but it really does stand up against another 15 watt valve amp, for example. Um, you know, I mean, we won't mention any names, of course, but I can think of certainly one 15 watt valve combo that has basically two sounds, um, a, a reverb, and it's around about just shy of 500 pounds. Um, and for 200 pounds, you can get that same kind of tone, plus a hell of a lot more. The advantage of programmability, um, foot switch, tuner, 
Um, so it really is about, like, the ID series is about building your own amplifier. You can still build your own amplifier in ID Core. You get six voices which mirror the same voices as the ID series. So we have two cleans, a clean warm and a clean bright. Clean bright being more of a, a boutique clean setting if you like. It breaks up earlier and the harder you dig in. We have crunch and super crunch. Uh, and then we have overdrive one and overdrive two for your really high gain stuff. So that's exactly the same. On ID Core, we then get a gain stage, a volume stage, and Blackstar's ISF, the patent which gives you an American or British style sound. Um, we have those on here as well, but we also get access to more EQ hands on. However, if you do plug in the ID Core to the inside of software, which we've got running at the moment, um, you'll find that the bass, middle, treble, EQ controls reappear again, so you can adjust those and store to your presets in that sense. Um, we then get exactly the same effects section. We get a reverb section comprising of four reverbs, um, a, de a delay section comprising of four delays and four modulations. You can choose one of each, so you can have three simultaneous effects, and that's exactly the same on both as well. If anyone out there who's watching actually owns an ID15 or an ID30, it might be a, a good to let you know, and you might not be aware of this, but each product will have firmware updates. So it's really important to make sure you have the current update or version of the insider software. Um, the reason being, for example, the last update had a number of things going on as, as uh, new things, but importantly, a big physical change happened to the ID15 and the ID30. Um, if you're familiar with the bigger products, like um, the 60 watt combo or the 260 or the, or the 60 head and the 100 head, um, you'll notice on the master section, there's a resonance and a presence control. Uh, and also there's a mid control in the EQ tone stack. On the smaller stuff, those were disappeared, that those weren't on there. But now you can access them by holding the tap function, and then you can adjust the bass to look at the resonance of the cab, the treble to look at the presence of the cab, and the ISF to control the mids, independently of what they were initially there to do. So you might not be aware of that, but here at Blackstar, we're very, very passionate about giving you guys the best experience possible within an amplifier. Lots of flavour, lots of tones. The ID series really, it's not just one amp, it's a number of amps. If you know your history, and what I recommend you do, um, if you don't want to get in touch with myself, but I'll give my email at the end of, the, at the end of this webcast, is just do some research on the, the valves that are on there, the KT66, the 6V6 valve, the EL84, um, the obvious choices obviously are on there as well, EL34, 6L6, KC88s as well. Um, but if you look at the history of those valves, you can see what they appeared in throughout our lifetime of loving rock and roll music. And you can match it with the voicing and adjust the infinite shape feature, our patented ISF, to match that British or American feel. And you can really shape those sounds as well as creating some of your own. For example, a really high gain sound with a really quite compressed 6V6 tube, which is really something that you can't buy unless it's custom built for you. So this is all about building your own amplifier. Remember Blackstar's motto, the sound in your head? It travels all the way through the pedals, the artisan range, series one venue, right up to date with our digital stuff. Now, ID Core was really built about the experience that you have as a guitar player when you're at home. So imagine watching your uh, online tutor videos or your playing to songs. If you connect your output of your device, whether it be an MP3 player, a tablet, your laptop, into the MP3 input, because the speakers are stereo, full range, um, the music sounds very clear, very responsive. Uh, guitar cabs are quite well known to have uh, when music's going through there, it sounds a little bit dim, like that kind of feel. And with ID Core, it's all about open, high fidelity. So that's really there for your experience as a guitar player when you're jamming along with tracks. It sounds amazing. Also, each product will have a USB, easy access USB on there. Here is the uh, USB on the ID, and on the top panel, we have it on the core. 
Now this can be used for um, an audio interface, so you can record direct to any recording software as well. And it's almost zero latency. It's very, very good for that. So, you know, at the price point that the ID Core feature at, which is three in the range, just under that hundred pound price point, you're getting an audio interface and a fantastic new product, a new amplifier out there to, to enjoy as a guitar player. So I highly recommend, if you haven't already tried them, get into your local store and try them out. If you're a gigging musician and you're after something small, I would definitely point you in the direction of ID. Um, I've had an ID15 and everything above it against an acoustic drum kit. Now to say that about a 15 watt non-valve amplifier is a big, big deal. Um, it's quite well known in the industry and if you work in guitar stores or you've tried the gear that at loud volumes something like that normally would not deliver. So what I try to do uh, since uh, ID came out is when I visit stores and talk to guys around the world and including you guys that, that buy our equipment, um, really if you're in a store compare it against an alternative valve amplifier and then you really see your worth, your money's worth. Um, I've just stored four sounds on here just briefly before, before the webcast started um, just to show you um, just how much feel you can get and I know it's very hard for it to transcend over laptop speakers or PC monitors and you really, really have to try it to believe it, but hopefully you'll get the drift. Um, but I set up basically a, a warm, clean sound, American style. Uh, on the second channel, more of a boutique British 60s thing. Um, then more of a 70s overdrive on the third channel. And then more of a modern high gain uh, on the fourth channel. So I'll just run through those uh, and you can hopefully really feel that, that power. <laughs> On the master volume there, we're at probably around about uh, 11 o'clock. for that boutique feel uh, onto a KT66 British 70s kind of vibe. <laughs> feels great for that blues style sound. Onto a more modern. Very, very cool. Of course you can utilise a lot more effects than that, I've just got a little bit of ambient reverb on there for now. But that, to go from a really warm style American clean through to a really modern high gain and a bit of boutique in the middle, hopefully you can kind of get the drift that if I had my foot switch and this is mic'd up, if not mic'd up, it would still deliver. It's giggable. Um, it probably weighs around about 15 kg. Nothing. Um, a perfect small amplifier affordable for live players as well as practice. Um, over to ID Core now. Um, hopefully you'll, you'll feel a little bit of a difference in tone. Mm -hmm. That's actually uh, a clean bright and this is a clean warm with the gain fully up. Of course we can 
really clean it up by taking that gain stage down. But having, having said that, to have that gain stage drive as much as it does when you really crank it, really kind of emulates the, the sound of a valve, whereas this really feels under your fingers like a valve amplifier, if that makes sense. Um, so on here, I've just simply got a little bit of a reverb setting. Um, I'm just gonna tune my guitar just briefly because it's slightly out. Um, there is a tuner accessible on the top panel by holding the tap function and the manual function simultaneously. It will then mute your sound. And also on the software, you can access it uh, via a mouse. Um, so I'll do it that way first. So I'm a little flat. You probably may not be able to see that screen clearly, but uh, it's a very, very smooth chromatic tuner. Gain stage up. That natural compression, and I've got to say, without going into the super wide stereo features, just that sound alone is, is a pleasure to play when you're sitting there uh, in a, a more confined practice room or music room at home or office. It's awesome. Um, so, we've got Basically, um, a couple of tracks up and ready, so I'll, I'll jam along with something at the end, but um, looking at something like Crunch, these are our other voices. It sounds brilliant, but when you plug into ID, you, you can still, you start to feel it in the floor. Do you know what I'm saying? It's, it's really a lot different. So make sure you do compare the two if you're looking and thinking the price isn't that different. What is? What am I looking at here? Um, super crunch. OD1. I mean, without the really wet reverb going on there, you can obviously tell that's a more higher gain stage. And then OD2, slightly different. <laughs> Let's uh, add some delay there. Really quite cool. Of course, the OD1 and OD2 come with a built-in noise gate as well, if I didn't mention that earlier, the same as ID. That noise gate has two thresholds, a low and a high, and you can switch it on and off or choose the choice of gate via the Insider software, as many other things as well. Um, if you're not familiar with Insider, if you haven't yet got an ID series amplifier of some sort, you can download the Insider for free for Mac or PC uh, from blackstaramps.com and you can use a phrase trainer. If you don't know what that is, basically you can import an MP3 file, you can slow it down and it will still remain in the same pitch, so it's perfect for practicing, learning riffs, solos, and you can select a a and B marker and then loop it, so it's just concentrating on that one section. And then you can just check out the other side of it and hopefully it'll start to make more sense. So that's a bit of a freebie from Blackstar if you didn't already know that. Um, 
So let's just jam along with the track and see what we can get out of it. Um, some nice blues. So this is a track playing through.
there you go, some nice blues there. Um, complete with Gary Moore faces as well. Make me like that. Here's the Gary Moore. Um, great experience audio wise. I was really immersed in that as a guitar player and a musician. I was, I was into it, I was there, you know. Um, but certainly if you can take this message away from this webinar for live use, please check out ID Core. It's doing fantastically well around the world, but it really needs you, that guy that might be sitting there or that last thinking, is it really going to be that good if it's not a valve? Yes, it is. Check it out. Affordable, powerful, lightweight, programmability, loud as valve. ID Core, again, very, very proud of these products. Um, both items have won fantastic accolades in the UK. If we just take a look at blackstaramps.com, for example, the ID series, we've got a gold award from Guitar World, Best Buy Total Guitar, uh, Guitarist Gold, Guitarist Choice, on the whole range of the products, uh, which is, you know, we, we don't take these awards for granted and they're not easy to come by. Uh, the awards are there for a reason, you know. Um, let's look at ID Core. Um, there we go, Guitarist Choice Award and Total Guitar Best Buy. Um, if we had physical awards, we would have no room for them. Blackstar are really proud of what we'd have, we, we achieve with amplifiers to give you guitar players out there wonderful amounts of tone, um, but we're very proud to put the certificates up in our, in our reception there. So again, remember, go to your local dealers, support local stores. Um, buying online is all very well, but it's a guitar, it's an amplifier. Listen, feel, you know? If Mr. Hendrix was still here, I don't think he'd be purchasing an amp online or a guitar. It's all about how it feels and how it sounds to you. Listen. Um, so remember to follow us on all the social media avenues, of course. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Um, just search for Black Star Amplification or Black Star Amps. And uh, if you need to know any further details, you can send an email direct to us here at info at blackstaramps.com or if you need some personal advice regarding the amplifiers and some training uh, via email, please email me at steve.marks at blackstaramps.com and it's been a pleasure to see you. Thank you for tuning into this webcast and we'll see you very soon. Cheers.